The Galaxy Z Fold 5 is reportedly going on sale in less than a month and my smart price has given us our first official look at the device. Now, the Z Fold 5 appears to be very small, like really, really small upgrade over the Z Fold 4. So much so that Leaker Ice Universe is even saying to skip this one for the next Fold 6. But I will still say you that, that is not the case because here's the thing, you don't have to upgrade from the Fold 4 to this one but rather it will be a great upgrade from the Fold 3 to this one. But other than that, numerous leaks have suggested that Samsung seems to have made some significant improvements in the hinge department, which is called the water drop hinge. Now, this will actually allow the phone to close flat, eliminating the gap between the two halves of the phone when closed. It also might remove the visibility of the deep freeze of any past foldables. But a real life look at the device will clear that. So not only does this new hinge give it a more elegant look, but it also makes the phone more simple to hold because when it's closed, the thickness will be reduced to about 13mm rather than 15 or 16mm of the past foldable devices. The reports are also saying that this new hinge will actually allow the device to finally have dust resistant rating aside from a typical water resistant capabilities. That is a massive achievement in the foldable world because after all, the dust particles are the biggest enemies of any foldable devices in the market. Now, we can also see the light blue color option, which is definitely quite elegant, but they're going to be also black, beige, and possibly a platinum color option. Now, the leaked image also implies that the phone actually have quite a bit narrower bezels, but that is about it in terms of cosmetic improvements. Now, talking about the other specs, the foldable will still have a 7.6-inch AMOLED panel, but it will have Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 protection. Plus, it will also come with the same 120Hz refresh rate and Quad HD Plus resolution. The cover display is going to stay identical. 6.2-inch AMOLED panel, 120Hz refresh rate, and Full HD Plus resolution. We don't know about the protection, but it might also just be Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. Now, performance-wise, you're gonna see a massive improvement even over the last year's model. And that is all thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset. Now, this is the same chipset that is powering the whole S23 series in the global market, but there is maybe a difference between them. This chip inside the Z Fold 5 or the Z Flip 5 performs better than it did inside the Galaxy S23 series. That's interesting. Now the battery and the RAM storage thing gonna stay identical to the current model. 4400 mAh battery, 45 watt fast charging, 25 watt wireless charging, 8 gigabyte, 12 gigabyte of RAM options, 256, 512, and a 1 terabyte of storage options. The cameras also going to stay the same, at least for the resolution. We don't know whether there are gonna be sensor changes or not, but at the very least, they're gonna stay identical. 50 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and a 10 megapixel teleporter camera with 2x optical zoom. The front camera on the cover screen might be a 12 megapixel camera but we still don't know about the under display camera whether it will be a 4 megapixel camera or it will see an upgrade we just don't know at this point i will let you guys know once i get to know about that aside from that as i said it will come with an ip58 water and dust resistant rating the new model will support the special s pen just like the current model but it won't have a place to store the stylus because it's just not the normal stylus it's a quite thick one so yeah that's probably it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about these all changes? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website. A link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.